William and Kate decision could have made things different for Meghan and Harry. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge started their married life in Anglesey, Wales, where William was stationed with the RAF. After several years there, they moved to Anmer Hall, Norfolk, where William was a pilot in the air ambulance. They concentrated on their relationship and on starting a family with only a few engagements here and there. Over time, they gradually increased their responsibility with William only giving up his career to become a full-time royal four years ago. By contrast, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex jumped into their royal duties straight away without any quiet time together. One royal commentator has suggested this may have contributed to their royal life going pear-shaped. Pod Save the Queen host Anne Gripper interviewed Daily Mirror columnist Darren Lewis on Facebook Live about Meghan and Harry and where it all went wrong. M's Gripper suggested that it may have been a good idea for the Sussexes to just take some time out away from everything, clear their heads and see how they felt. She pointed out that Kate and William had that time to themselves and maybe if Harry and Meghan had done that things could have turned out differently. She said, we knew they were in Canada, we knew they were taking a break. We knew they were thinking about what their life would be. Would they potentially spend some time in Africa and have a bit of separate time away while they got used to their early married life? I mean, this is something that William and Kate managed to do. Dash they had some quiet time in Anglesey establishing themselves as a couple, as a family unit, before they launched into royal life. I do just feel that if Harry and Meghan had had a moment to compute all of this, maybe things would have been different. Whether they felt they needed to really throw themselves in and make up for lost time because they had met each other later. M's Gripper later spoke of the film Sliding Doors, a 90s romantic comedy starring Gwyneth Paltrow and John Hanna in which Gwyneth's character lives two alternative lives based on whether she catches a certain train or not. The film displays an example of the butterfly effect, how one seemingly small change in your life can have a big impact. M's gripper said she felt there must have been so many moments where things could have been different. If perhaps certain people had been more aware how their words might be taken, or if people had managed to conjure up a bit more empathy and understanding, then maybe Meghan and Harry would still be working royals. On the flip side, she acknowledged that Harry has now said he had been feeling like he wanted to leave the royal family since his 20s. If this is the case, it may have been inevitable and just been a matter of time before he ultimately made the decision to leave. She added that it is possible that Meghan and Harry had ideas that were just incompatible with the institution and it would never have worked. Ultimately, she and Mr. Lewis agreed that the Sussexes had to make the decision that was right for them. That said, M's gripper did point out that a lot of frustration came from people having an issue with the way they went about extricating themselves. Many believe the couple blindsided the Queen with their decision, which they denied in their interview with Oprah Winfrey. However, reports from the Times suggested that the royal family felt hurt by the decision and that they had decided to go ahead with their public announcement, despite being asked to hold off. Nevertheless, Mr. Lewis said he wished people had more sympathy for the couple and how they made this decision for the sake of their mental health.